Welcome to My Life in Coasters, where today is the first day of our holiday to, uh, yeah, like the Cumbrian coast. And I just thought I'd uh, get the camera out of this view. staying for fortnights at um, Silleth. Um, yeah, it's actually Solway Holiday Park in Silleth. There will be a separate video of the Holiday Park tour because I always do that as a separate video. Just going for a look at the town of Silleth now. Yeah, so just here on the um, seafront of, uh, or with the promenade of uh, Silleth, yeah, you got a lighthouse over there, I'm sure I'll check that out. But yeah, I want to try and head down towards the beach if there is one. You've got some public toilets for free there, yeah, where we're staying literally just over there. Yeah, it's a really impressive, spectacular view. Yeah, there's this lighthouse now. Uh, I've got the name of it. very treacherous down here. So many rocks you could just like fall over. I mean this does just show corrosion. making sure I'm not going anywhere near the edge, I'm not going to go any further than this. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice view around. Silleth. Uh, yeah, it's just a small town, I think. I don't think there's much there. I think there's a few like cafes and shops and stuff. Uh, and from what I've seen, it's about a 10 minute walk from uh, yeah, the uh, Holiday Park. It is Solway Holiday Park. Uh, I think the next video should hopefully be a tour of it. I always do a full tour for every Holiday Park I stay at if I can. Um, yeah, this one should be no different. So yeah, I've just been looking on Google Maps then, and it says that I've got about a 20 minute walk. Here's a yeah, less clear look at that glorious view. I've put that in the video so much today. But yeah, I really do uh, think it's a great view. You only literally have to walk out of the park about a minute to get here. Yeah, I think it's just down there, like the main sort of town of Silla. Looks like this tide's come in now, uh, compared to earlier. So yeah, I'm just going to head along this grass pathway um, for a bit more. I'm not too sure how much further. Yeah, this is 
certainly come in because earlier uh, it wasn't even like anywhere near the steps. Yeah, I've just been looking online and apparently there's like a little amusement and stuff. I have no idea what it is, but I thought I might as well just go and uh, check it out, see what's there. And if it's anything that might be better when it's open in the daytime, then I'm sure we can find time this week to come back and do it. You can just see how windy it is all the time because all these trees are swept over that way. Yeah, lots of like greenery on this part of the promenade here in Silas. Yeah, it's really nice. I guess it's not so much got a beach, so if you wanted to say, bring like a picnic on a sunny day, you'd probably be better off sitting on the grass and just sort of looking at that part of the uh, England coastline. Yeah, so from what I've seen already, Silas has sort of a very, it feels quite unique. Because uh, I say parts of this, it does feel quite like nice and almost like parts of London to me. Um, and then it sort of does feel a bit more like a promenade rather than a small town on the seaside. Uh, but yeah, there's a little carousel and stuff here, which I didn't know sort of existed. Right now onto the rose garden that was planted in June, um, June 1953 to uh, celebrate the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, yeah, head down here. I think it's only like a small little garden where you've got like, benches and stuff around. I think that's like an animal hotel in there. Yeah, this is the amusement arcade then I was talking about. Uh, it looks like it should be a small arcade uh, that I imagine is open during the daytime. I don't think it'll be open when I'm here this week. Uh, although I know arcades sometimes do just because, really, I don't think there's really going to be anyone here. But I imagine when it gets to the summer holidays or weekends, all this is open. Like, I reckon there's probably cars you can ride around this bit, or I can pretty much guarantee that. Uh, you got a little carousel down here, this trampoline. Yeah, it's just an arcade amusements in there. Mega bounce. Yeah, it's like a big park. This is really quite unique. I quite like it here. Um, I think it'd be really nice on a uh, sunny day. Yeah, Splash Park, an adventure playground, and the Victorian Pagoda, which is up here. Yeah, and this provides some even more brilliant views up here. Oh, wow. See down here, probably a bit more. It's quite a steep hill there. Yeah, you've got some windmills right out there. And probably the camera barely picks them up on my phone, should I say. Yeah, just a small little adventure playground though. It looks like there's a few bits on there. Like a slide and a climbing frame. And this is a splash park, which is quite good because I don't really think you'd be going in the sea here. Not 100% sure on what that is. I think the lifeboat station is over there. I won't bother going over there because I'm 99% sure it'll be shut. Uh, it's the sort of thing that, um, yeah, when I come back later this week, or I think I'll come back later this week, unless I'm too busy doing other stuff, which, uh, yeah, I don't know how likely that is. Uh, you've got a nice little, uh, oh, I say little, it's quite a big church here in uh, Sileth. Uh, there's a few like coffee shops, I know there's a couple of other little shops, there's a few hotels. I imagine there must be a pub, that looks like a pub. Uh, of course it's a British town, of course it's got to have a pub. Oh uh, yeah, and there's some public toilets here. They look like they're free of charge, which would be quite odd, I imagine they're locked most of the day anyway. Uh, yeah, I know there's a BMX track. Uh, yeah, and I think the lifeboat thing's over there. However, it is getting fairly late, it's like half past eight now. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to start to head back to our holiday park. Yeah, this bit of Silla feels almost like London to me. It feels sort of quite nice and posh. Uh, yeah, I really like it. Um, but yeah, that is sort of coming to the, my end of the day. The, the end of my day here um, in Silla. Obviously the first of a few vlogs, hopefully. Also, if there's a day I don't do anything, um, there won't be a vlog. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to do quite a lot this week um, here in Scylla and just like around the area, hopefully head up to Scotland as well, possibly maybe like um, to Edinburgh, I'm not 100% sure yet, I've been looking at it uh, and I reckon it's sort of doable in the day. Um, 
by train. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this first day. Stay tuned for lots of other videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. One last little note, there's also like this cool like plane, I think it's a memorial uh, or something down there.